everybody, Lenny here back with another shoe review. This is the Wave Inspire 13 by Mizuno and it's a great stability shoe. They went for a softer cushioning platform on this with a softer wave plate, uh, if you will. So let's get started. To me, the upper here felt like, if you're familiar with the Ghost 3 in Brooks, which is a long time ago, 2010 model, that's what this upper felt like to me. Um, the material on the inside it just had that feel and the toe was actually a little bit more up than in previous models. Now I'm going to compare this to the Wave Inspire 11 because I didn't um, have access to the Wave Inspire 12. But I've ran 35 miles in this and this is the wear. Not much. I mean the grooves in the outsole are kind of still there here at the toe. Maybe a little bit of wear, but overall it seems to be wearing nicely. Actually right here too, there's a little bit of wear where the wave plate kind of crashes to the ground there. But um, I found these lacings to be very good. They're around. I don't usually like round racing, but uh, round lacing, but since they were like really soft, they actually cinched down really nicely compared to some of the other thicker, harder round laces that... Um, I've been accustomed to and this tongue is just like a regular tongue it's not as thick as the wave inspire 20 now i did wait run in the wave inspire 20 and this shoe is a lot more rigid of course because it's a stability shoe and i've been testing stability shoes because i noticed that um i pronate a little bit now we'll cut to that clip right now and i'll show you exactly what i'm talking about now my left ankle was injured a while ago so um my pronation on that is still going to be bad no matter what shoe i wore but I did test it against Hoka's and some other shoes I was wearing, and it was terrible. I mean, it made, it made me look at it and be like, my ankle should be really hurting right now, which it started to wearing the Bondi 4 again. I was like, why is my ankle hurting? Well, I never did a gait analysis on myself, so I finally got to that, and I went through all the different shoes, and I found that Mizuno actually holds my foot pretty good and stable. So we'll cut to that clip right now. back and to discuss a little bit about the sizing like I said um, in the comparison of the last two photos I shown um, it seems like this toe box is just a lot more bubbly towards the front or just bigger up towards the front like has a little nose to it or something and it just adds a lot of space to the shoe Mizuno's already run big in 11 and a half I was like feels pretty good but after wearing it for a while um, there's definitely a lot of space in there could have probably opted for an 11 but i got this from a private party so the 11 and a half is going to do for now um and also um just overall weight of the shoe i mean all these shoes have all these stability shoes have a lot of weight to them because they have a lot of support um to me the wave inspire doesn't feel as heavy though because the weight is kind of distributed all over the shoe, so up through the ankle area, through the wave plate, through the sole. Now they were going for a softer sole on this one, but to me, compared to the Wave Inspire 11, it didn't break in right away as quickly. So the wave plate on the Wave Inspire 11 is harder, but the sole is softer in the forefoot, so it's kind of got a good feeling off the bat. Now this one took a while to break in up here on the forefoot. And to me, after it did, it felt like the Wave Inspire 11. And, um, but the Wave Plate is a little softer, and that's what they're going for. But it's still a firm stability shoe that really helped my knees. I didn't get um, no new knee pain. And after you know, going the extra miles, um, I did a 7.5 mile in this. It felt pretty good. And um, so let's weigh this thing and see what the 11.5 weighs. So it's 12.8 ounces, which is a really heavy shoe. Um, but like I said, you know, it being a stability shoe, of course, it's going to have that weight. Now, one thing I'd like to talk about and end with is heel cup. So it being 11 and a half and having all that extra space, which actually helps on long run. So it's not terrible, but it definitely has a less secure fit up in this area than the Wave Inspire 11. But I kind of like that around this area, the Wave Inspire 11 kind of hugged this one kind of 
let your feet kind of feel free right there. But there's just excess space up here in the toe box, which is actually, like I said, kind of good for long runs if you're doing a marathon, half marathon, whatever. Um, this heel cup is really good because this is a 12 millimeter heel to toe drop. And actually it feels like it kind of sits like this. Opposed to the Brooks Adrenaline, it seems like my heel was slipping. This one, even with the bigger sizing, it feels like my heel catches regardless. So even with being a half size, maybe a little too big, um, the heel cup is really, really good and catches my foot on the back end there. And so, yep, this is the Wave Inspire 13. I know I probably missed some things, so if you have any questions, comments, and then I'll also leave some of the stuff that I forgot to say in the description. So if you want to check the, those points out, if I missed anything, if I didn't, then I'm just going to leave it the way it is. So the Wave Inspire 13, a great support shoe for mild over pronators.